and girls. And I, and I have to say, I do welcome the, the Chancellor's new job support scheme, but a, a salary subsidy for companies that are not able to trade is not the stuff of dreams, if I'm honest. You know, I totally get the honesty in government talking about viable jobs in the changed post-COVID economy, but we have to be honest and say there is a difference between an unviable business and one that is not allowed to be viable, as is the case for the UK events sector. Furthermore, and this sort of goes back to the much wider point that the events world, although it involves many who work within it, is the self-employed support scheme has troubled me from the off, and I've said it in this house many times. The, the intention to, to achieve parity with, for self-employed workers with those on PAY was absolutely the right thing to do. But as our select committee says, at paragraph 12 in its report, the impact of COVID on the sectors, too many self-employed people have missed out on support to date, putting the future of our creative workforce at significant risk. And we say in the report, Mr. Deputy Speaker, that from October 2020 at the latest, so this month, the government should introduce flexible sector-specific versions of the SEIWS, guaranteed for the creative industries until their work and income returns to sustainable levels. I know